Hello, welcome to Ekideo. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umwaka. I am your instructor. Today, I'll be showing you how to apply wall load on your beams using Vota Structural Print Print 2 version. So if maybe you are looking for this version, I will say you can get it from the Vota website or you can go for the shared version if the main one is very if it is expensive for you. Okay, so right now to add a uh, wall load on that, I'll just come here right now and then click on my beam and then right click on the beam and then say edit loads, okay? Now, this is a shopping plaza that we are designing for. So if maybe you missed the video, part one, I'll say can, you can check on the link down below and watch the part one of the video where I did the full model of, the, of, the, of this plaza. Okay, so right now to add wall load now, I'll come here and then choose my wall load because I'm trying to add wall load now to the, to the ground floor beam so to the first floor beam sorry and then on this place now i'll have to come here i already told you guys how to add your wall unit weight that the value is 3.47 the reason why i seen this value is because i already worked on the wall on the wall load on this building okay that's why it is training at default so right now on the height of the wall right now the 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 height of our first floor is 3.2 that's the height of the story of our first was 3.2 meters that is 3200 and then the depth of our of our beam of our roof beam is um 300 so if you subtract um 3200 minus 300 that gives us 2900 that is the um exact place where our wall is going to occupy so to now add your wall to add your wall your wall load once you come to this to this interface you have to click on this beam for this load to, to, to like come out once you click on the beam then the load comes out now put in your value here which is the, which is the 3.47 as the wall you need to it if you're using if you're using a nine inches wall and then put in your height which in my case now is two nine hundred and it, it must be in meters don't forget that it must be in meters and then put in your wall thickness i'm using 250 or thickness and then now say updates okay now, once you see update right now, then come here and click on OK. OK, that's fine. And then you will see your wall showing now, as you can see that all our wall load now is now showing. Let me do it again just for one more time for it to grab it again. So let me just put a wall, wall load here. Click on the beam, right click, and then say um, edit loads. Now, once you do that just now, and then come to this place now for this place, make sure you choose this here, wall load. And once you pick that wall load now, you have to click on the beam here to, for, for the load to appear here. Now, once it appears, put in your wall unit you weight, which is in my own case here is 3.47 because I'm using a 9 inches wall. And then come here and put in your height. Your height, you have to put in the height at which the wall is going to occupy from the bottom of the of the top beam to the to the to the top of the of the of the bottom beam. Okay. So right now I will now come here. In my own case, is 2900 and not 3 meters. And I'll come here and again and put my thickness of wall. And I'm using 250 in this case. And I'll come here right now and then say um, update. Okay. And then you will see your reactions now being there and also on this point. And then now come here and say okay. And then you will now see your wall will just in, uh, uh, appear here. Now, since we have, or since all these ground floor beams are carrying wall load, I will not do it again manually. I'll just come here right now that I've already done. Right click on it and then say copy copy load and i'll copy load i'll say yes copy all the loads and then i will now come to the first beam here on the first floor on this beam click on this come down and then go to the um go to the last beam and hold my shift key and then click on the last beam and then automatically it will select all the beams and then i'll just right click and then say paste and it will paste all the beams as you can see that all the beams now is uh, are now being selected as you can see for just the ground floor and i will now right click now and then say paste load automatically it will paste all the wall load now on the beams okay and also it will also adjust its length automatically based on each of the beams length individually okay so right now you can see how we have applied wall load on this shopping plaza as you can see just now so in my next video right now we will be, we will be performing what they call um design for this um shopping plaza so if maybe you missed all the videos of that how how, how we got to this stage i'll say check on the link down below and watch that video okay so thanks so much and god bless you we love you goodbye
Oh yeah, I forgot. So I forgot, if you have not um, subscribed to our channel, I will say you should just skip this video right now and then subscribe to our channel. Pause this video and subscribe to our channel because um, you will get a lot about um, how to design structural elements. And if you have any question about what you have done so far, I would say you should drop your comment down below. And also on this on, on this video on, on this video description, we have our WhatsApp platform. If you so they can message us at any time and we will can reply you and then solve. Okay, so right now we are done. So goodbye and God bless you. We love you.